I was on a bus that was held hostage. 45 minutes. It wasn't life threatening. I don't want to give you that impression. It was a dude jerking off, but the shit was scary, son. It was scary. It was right before it happened, I was on the bus smoking a cigarette. It's a long story. It's not the coolest shit I ever did. And people freaked out. <laughs> Sir! Sir, put that goddamn cigarette out, okay? This is everybody's air, sir. I flicked it. I didn't want any trouble. And just at that moment, coincidentally, this homeless dude out of nowhere pulls his dick out, started beating off. And I was furious. Because nobody said shit to this guy. They were just looking like, oh my God. I was the only one on the bus that had the balls to say anything to him. And it's not even like I was brave, really. It was that, you know. I was sitting next to the motherfucker. I had to say something. <laughs> Come on, dog, you hit my elbows. Stop. <laughs> Son, stop. That's all I said. I, was, I didn't want to say too much. Guys beating off on the bus means there's something wrong with this motherfucker. He, he's not wrapped so tight. I didn't want to push him over the edge. As soon as I said something, all these dummies on the bus, now they're brave. He's right. Put your goddamn cock away. I don't want to see this anymore. I don't want to see it either. Yeah! Now the guy flips out. All right, everybody, back up! Back the fuck up! I tried to be nice about this. Now everybody freaks out. Oh my God, it's a biological attack. Oh. I'm caught in the middle. I can't lose my cool. I said, hey, everybody, just calm the fuck down or you gonna get me shot. Let's all just be cool. Let's do what this man says so he'll leave us alone. Now everybody gets quiet. <sighs> That's better. That is better. And then he started walking up and down the aisles. He was terrorizing us. <sighs> and then he starts making demands. You in the pink shirt. Squeeze your tits together. Oh, oh God, no. No. You, stick your finger in your butt. 